So for today, we're going to be looking at the Apylos armor set, the basically the skeleton armor set. We're going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at some example sets. We're going to be looking at how it shaders. And uh, yeah, this armor is really cool. I'm really excited for it. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help uh, because a lot of people that actually come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, if you got to at least like the video or share it, that'd be very much appreciated. But other than that, let's get into it. So this is the Hunter Apollo's following set. I'm a big fan of it. The only thing that kind of is annoying is the helmet and the arms. Other than that, I think every piece is really good uh, for the helmet. I think it's really good. I know I just said it's an annoying part, but it's more because of the shadering situation, which we'll get to that. But overall, I really like the helmet. The helmet is literally one of my favorite pieces. It's because I'm an edgelord. Like, I'm not going to even lie about it. I'm definitely going to be using this for a lot of looks. I do have an example set for everyone, and I'm using the helmet. Same with, I think, the Warlock. I think the Titan's the only one that I'm not using the helmet. But, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one. You guys can see the really cool, uh, like, stitch in here. You guys can see the really cool uh, stitch in here as well. I think... If, if it was if it was all a, like a skeleton hell or like a like a skull all of it i think that would have been way way better but this also is not bad i still fuck with it heavily so helmet is really good arms on the other hand are actually kind of disappointing in my opinion uh if the bone plate armor went a little bit more heavy on the shoulder and the arms like, cause this gap, I, th I think this gap shouldn't be here. I think the fact that it's only this piece of bone that's there is also disappointing. And the arms, I'm gonna be real with you, or the hands, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, I think if the hand, if the tips of the fingers had like bone pieces, like the Ahamkara, uh, the Ahamkara, I'll have it in the screen right now, but if it had these, I think it would have been amazing chest piece is also kind of disappointing but not as much as the arms in my opinions because i feel like they kind of dropped a ball because they really should have done a a rib cage type thing down here so like instead of this leather here it should have been a bone right here going down and then going up for like a rib cage now i can see the argument being all oh, it's because if they had that then they wouldn't be able to like move their torso as well which is a fair it's fair i'm just saying maybe add something a little bit more or maybe add another piece of bone right here so that way they can actually move but not have it attached to this piece right here uh for the legs i'm also a big fan of the legs i think the legs are phenomenal they're the best piece from the whole set uh because there's just so much bone my only gripe with the with the actual boots is uh the boots i don't i don't think the these type of boots would have been bet, like good if i don't know this has the same issue that the titan uh dune marchers uh hive armor has where it's just like all this cool bone stuff and then you just give me regular boots i would have preferred if you gave me like spiky bone boots because then it would have been thematic to the whole thing but uh cloak i'm not gonna lie to you guys the cloak is very simplistic for what you we, we are getting here uh let's let's get this out of the way the cloak itself i think is phenomenal i think this is super cool i guess it's the hood that kind of like just gets me like i don't i don't know it's it's kind of boring i'm not gonna lie to you guys like and i also don't like that it, this is attached to it this this thing right here i'm not a big fan of it as for how it shaders, so here's my big gripe with it is there the red on the helmet rarely changes color. The red on the arms do not change colors. So other than that, it's super dope. Like everything changes color, even even the whatever the design, there's some shaders that will just cover it up completely. Like you can't see it there. We saw it on the blue, you can't see it on the blue, but there's other shaders that will show it off. So I think that's really cool because something like this is really cool. So here's my gripe with the helmet. The helmet uh, actually does change color, which is really weird. So you can see how the red will change color depending on which shader you have. There's some reds that will 
or some shaders that will make it just pop even more because like right now it's like very light red this one turns into a dark red and then there's shaders that will actually change the shader but you can still see hues of the red underneath which is very annoying you can see it with uh the this one the kali you can see it that's it's trying to show the chrome but the red is just too much uh, there is one shader that actually does change the whole thing and it's very very good um, you might be wondering why you can't why are you going out it's because it's a paid shader and I don't know if they did this on purpose I don't think they did because I'm gonna give them the, the benefit of the doubt but continuum alloy turns it completely gold and you can see little bit little bit of red but not as bad as the other shaders so if you're trying to go for a gold helmet which is what the fuck i was trying to do for my example set which is let's just get into it so this is my example set i was trying to go for a higgs look you guys know if you guys don't know who higgs is if you guys didn't see my worm husk crown video i'll have it in the screen right now the worm husk crown video but yeah i essentially make this whole armor set with the worm husk crown because the character that it's uh that I made for it, Higgs from Death Stranding, he has a gold skull helmet. And it would have been really good to have gold for this fucking idiot, but you know, I, I don't have gold. I don't like, and this is the worst part is I tried every gold in the game, at least the ones that we had so far, none of them worked. And again, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like, oh my God, Bungie's like really pay to win here. And I didn't wanna do that because you know, it probably isn't like that. It's probably just, you know, an over, they probably just overlooked it. It's probably a bug or it's just that shader changes it because as you can see, this shader also does that uh, because it also takes textures, weirdly enough. Like for example, I'll show you right here, this one specifically, you guys can see the like check mark, not check marks, the the squares on this one. This one also has a texture. So the, it takes it it takes shaders and patterns and whatnot. It's just that it doesn't take the colors, which again, I'm hoping it's a bug because if I remember correctly, the Warlocks takes shaders. Well, I mean, we're gonna look at it, but yeah, it's just very aggravating because all the golds in the game don't fucking work. But the gold that the one gold that you have to pay for works. So again, I don't want to give shade to Bungie because I don't know if it's intended or not. But it's annoying. I'm still it's still annoying. So this is the look. Just imagine this fucking idiot gold, and that's my look. I don't really have much to say about this one, considering I already made this look for another set. But this is the look I wanted to do with the uh, the Pylos following. I will be doing more sets, like more example sets for this whole armor set because I think it's really good. Uh, I'm going to be using the chest piece, the boots, maybe the, the cloak, maybe. But yeah, you're going to see more of the skeleton armor in different pieces. So uh, hunters, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Very annoying that the only shader that changes this in a very meaningful way is you have to pay actual money for it, which is over here over in the archives right here so five bucks um five bucks is not a lot like for real it's also really cool that it, they actually made it five bucks instead of like seven because you can't buy seven you would have to buy ten like this one's but for example eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars they don't have an option to just pay eight dollars they have an option of ten five fifteen twenty so you know i at least should be appreciative of the fact that they did that so i might actually do this one just to get the shaders but it still annoys me so yeah let's go on, let's go on to the titan and for the titans we have oh my god so let's let's just get into it i don't y'all don't need an introduction because this helmet right here caliente bro this helmet is legitimately so fucking cool i love love that they made it like come like almost like a gladiator helmet i think that's the best choice that could have went for it uh as for how it shaders it shaders the same as the hunters unfortunately uh honestly i wouldn't have an issue with the shadering if it just 
did the whole shader. Like for example, this one, Queen's Colors, this one should have a really deep like turquoise blue to it. I would have just preferred just give me the whole color difference and not retain this orange because it just makes the shader look terrible. Uh, for the arms, another one of my favorites. This also probably looks even better on the Titans because the female Titans are a little bit on the smaller side, which I've been thinking about switching to a male Titan because this would look amazing on a male Titan. Arms are really good. We'll look at the shaders, the whole thing later because the helmet's a specific case, which is why I wanted to show you immediately. Chest piece, I think is good as fuck. It's so good. Ah, which is funny considering it's not that that it's not that different from the the, the uh, hunters but i love this right here this like like almost like the collarbone is going up and it just looks a little bit more bulkier again i i'm i'm a big fan of when armor goes all the way up to the top here but this one's fine because it just it looks very visceral uh also there's a face right here uh for the legs I really do like the legs. It's just very unfortunate that it has the oranges because those do not change color. So yeah, that's that's aggravating as fuck. You know, I love it when they when there's pieces that don't change color. And then last but not least, we have the or the mark, which it's it's hit or miss for me. Like some things, I'm like this looks fire, and then the other ones, I'm like this looks kind of like whatever. To be quite honest, I like it. Overall, I think the Titans have like the strongest set because I just like almost all of the pieces with like the only complaints I really do have is the helmet. The color just is annoying to deal with sometimes because uh, it's like most shaders will just go with. Do you want it more dark or do you want it not dark? And then you have shaders like the Queen's colors where it's like, we'll give you a little bit, but you'll still have the orange, which is like fucking why though like stop it and again for how for how it shaders it shaders really well it's just that again the orange is here unnecessary bungee like why 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 like why why this very unnecessary it this will most likely mean that i won't use the boots uh, like a lot at all most likely just because i am that picky when it comes to pieces that don't change colors there is uh certain exceptions like the one of my favorite arms in the game is this one right here one of my favorites the ye yellow and the white right here do not change color but it's fine because you don't see it immediately it's only when you when you go to the side so for me it's like eh, that's one of the better ways to make unshaderable pieces because you can't see it uh not this where it's literally in your face so Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the practice armor, as for the practice armor, I went with a solar look. I think this is amazing. I really, I really wanted to lean into the orange of the helmet, and I f almost forgot that this exotic hollow fire uh, heart existed. I was immediately gonna go with this one, but then I remembered Vulcan's heart looks amazing. With the new uh, Radiant Breaker gauntlets, these were last week, if I remember. No, two weeks ago. Uh, I think these arms are amazing, which I will do a, a another. I'll do another look for it because I'm already doing one here. But for the boots, we have the Solstice Greaves from I don't even know which. This is two years ago, I think. I think it looks amazing. I love the the cracks in the fire because it it makes it look very uh thematic to the other pieces that you guys can see the fire and the cracks through here and then for the mark i wanted to go something basic because i didn't want i want the fire to be the main showcase which i'm using the uh horian mark i don't know how to i'm just gonna say horian so yeah titans let me know what you guys think i love this it's probably one of my more favorite looks that i've done because it just looks amazing but yeah, if you guys want to know the actual look that I was thinking about making, but I know people were going to give me shit for it because uh, just for reasons, I was just going to use both of these. But thankfully, I was not the biggest fan of the boots with this shader, which is why I switched back to this one, because it just looks way better, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. Again, I think you guys have really amazing pieces. Next one is the Warlocks, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, Warlocks, we got you guys. And I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, 
I'm not the biggest fan of yours. The only reason I think you guys win is because you had you guys have the best helmet. Like, I'm not even kidding. This shit looks menacing. Let's look at the helmet. This helmet legitimately is probably one of the best helmets that Bungie has ever made for Warlocks. Probably ever. Uh, I it's just there's so much into it like it looks amazing it still has the same issue as the other uh, other helmets that the other classes have which is unfortunate uh specifically like bro can you imagine if the orange wasn't there it would be so cool I, hopefully it's a bug because it's very annoying to deal with the orange personally it just it's very annoying like I would love if the helmet just did change color like <sighs> annoying but yeah the helmet is so good guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below but I am I am such a fan of this helmet then we get to the disappointing pieces the arms it's no surprise that the arms usually are disappointing these I will say these are some of the better arms we get a, from a warlock uh, be, just because they look a lot better than most pieces because they do have that like uh, opening thing here. I don't know what you call it, but it's like a fin from here and then it widens at the end. I think that's cool. I think uh, everything of the hand is really cool. Again, I think if we had claws, I think it would have been way better. The chest piece. Okay, so I think my main gripe with the chest piece is the fact that you only really have two bone pieces. The chest piece, and the waist. Other than that, this shit is more robe than bone. And that's kind of where my issue lies. Because if you're gonna have this little bone, then I think the back should have had like a really big like bone back. Like go all the way in if because this doesn't look bad, mind you. Let me just get that out of the way. It does not look bad at all. Uh aside from the fact that the red here does not change color. Bungie, please stop doing this. Uh you're you're stifling us but other than that the whole piece does not look bad it genuinely does not look terrible i just think there should have been a lot more bone to these to this piece because it's more cloth than bone and that's like my biggest gripe of it oh man okay so let's get to the worst piece from the whole set so look at these look at these boots there is no bone in this there is no bone in this such a missed opportunity like nothing these are just boots bro granted these are kind of be pretty good boots to use with like tactical looks because there's a lot of straps and whatnot but it's also highly disappointing considering all they really needed to do for the boots is put a bone piece like Honestly, put a bone piece from here all the way to the fucking boots, bro. That's all they needed to do. You didn't have to put bones in the back. Just put like some bone right here, some bone right here, a knee bone. And then personally, this is what I would have done. Make a a, po a pointy bone uh, plate boot thing here, right here. That would have been amazing. That would have That would have gone with so many looks. But the fact that they gave Warlocks just a basic bitch boot is highly disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Whoever designed this is like, I'm legitimately, it's, oof, I can, my disappointment was so, it was real. It was so real. And look at this, like this would have been cool. Something along the lines of this with a combination of this right here so like think think of the corrupting echoes bone like from here to down here with the resonant furies pointy boot that's it. it is not that hard but you gave us a boring boot bro um as for the bond it's okay uh it's not bad it's cool but i mean the bond it would have been cool if it like if the skull in, in the middle was red and it it had the like the bone smoke that the helmet has, I think that would have been way better. But I mean, it works, I guess. Overall, the warlocks. If you guys didn't have this amazing helmet, you guys would have. You guys would not have a good help, uh, armor set. To be fair, the only really bad piece you have 
is the boots. The boots are terrible. Like whoever designed this piece, if you like realistically, some person actually designed all of this and they looked at the boots and were just like, those are good. And I just questioned that because they're not good. Uh, again, a bone bone piece in the, in the thigh, uh, on the, on the knee and then on the shin or the calf and then a uh, bone boot. That's it. It's not that hard. As for the look uh, that I made, this is going to look very reminiscent to a lot of people who have been following me for a while because I made this look before, but tell me this doesn't look fire. Tell me this don't look fire. Uh, I wanted to go for something derelict, something like, I don't know, something, something that really flowed well with the helmet. And I think this looks really good. I love the chains that the scorn Baron robes have to be, to be fair though. I, I crutch on this chest piece a lot, but this, this is a great piece. This is the great part about this helmet specifically is you could, if you didn't want to use that, you could just use this instead. And it still looks fucking good. Like I would actually argue this actually looks way better. No, obviously I would switch out uh, the boots and the, and the arms because I feel like they don't really f uh, function with the, with this chest piece. But with this one, I love a lot of it. Uh, the helmet, I don't really need to explain why I'm using it. It's really good. The arms I'm using it because it, the, the really like rubber robes here, whatever the rubber stri uh, strips go really well with this, even though it doesn't look like rubber, it still looks good enough for, in my head where it's like, it looks really good for the, for the chest piece. Again, I wanted to go for like a, almost like a cult, uh, slash, uh, crazy person. I don't know. And then for the boots, again, I wanted to go for that pointy boot because that's what the legs should have looked like. And then for the bond, we're using the blood lineage because of the chains. That's really it. So warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do apologize that you guys got really bad boots. And uh, personally, I don't like the chest piece at all. I think the chest piece is kind of boring. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about the armor set and not the look that I have right now because I think the look right now, the look I have right now is really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will have more videos of the bone armor without the helmets because I've already used the helmets. I will have a few other looks with a lot of other things. I still have to grind the dungeon because I don't have all the pieces yet just because I kind of burned myself out from doing it solo just because it takes forever. Not to mention doing it on Warlock is just annoying in my opinion for me. Uh, Titan and Hunter, very easy. Warlock, very annoying. So. If you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help again uh for those of you that who are here at this point in the video i really do appreciate you but be safe and i'll see you guys later